Oh, jeez, PlayStation. This isn't the PlayStation 5 Slim that we all wanted. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Blaze 2K. Sorry I've been out of the loop for the past week. I've been extremely sick and I'm still sick. I've got a respiratory virus and it's no fun. It really isn't any fun. But we did get some news last week and I wasn't here to cover it and I want to talk about it and share my opinions now. And that is, of course, the new PlayStation 5 revision. And I'm going to start by saying we talked about this a couple of weeks back. It was leaked. This was rumored to come out. But look at it. <laughs> look at it. Did you really expect it was going to look like this? I certainly didn't, and I was kind of hoping and praying it wouldn't, because let's think back to the good old PS2 days. This is what they went from, the original PlayStation 2, this is what they revised it down to, the PS2 Slim. Look at the freaking difference in that. That is something I was kind of hoping for for the PS5. I mean, it's been out for a good couple of years now. Surely, surely they'd be able to slim it down to something a little bit more than, well, this <laughs> now let me know in the comments what you think about this i mean they have rounded the edges they've rounded the corners it looks a little bit like d brand's skin the dark plates that they've released um it looks all right they've refined it but some people in the community aren't too happy with it um and it is coming out this holiday so let's get into it but before we get into it and I share my opinions or more opinions on it, um, go check out pixelbuys.com. It's our new website that covers everything, tech, gaming, PS5, Xbox, health information, good stuff you could buy, gift guides. Going to be releasing the coolest Christmas gift guide very soon, so stay tuned to pixelbuys.com. And also check the links down below for some great PlayStation 5 accessories. So... The elephant in the room, the disk drive is now detachable and you could buy purchase it separately or you could buy it with the disk drive attached. Now things are starting to go more in the route of digital games. I've had a gaming PC for a long time now and I've got used to it. I've got used to being able to play games on demand um, and it's no big deal. I don't have to get my butt off the sofa to go change the disk. That's a great thing about digital games, but a lot of people still like buying physical copies and that's okay. So now they're giving people the option. Do you want a PS5 digital? Or do you want to buy the disk drive for those that still want to use discs? Let me know in the comments what kind of person you are. Now let's get into the rundown and talk about what's new with this. So it is coming during the holiday season. It's going to have a smaller form factor, which is always good. I mean, it doesn't, like, I mean, we compared it with the PS2 Slim. It's nothing like the sort of slim down we saw with the PS2 and even the PS3, to be fair. It's going to be, um, this is going to have 30% less volume, which is good. Weight reduction by 18% and 24% respectively, obviously depending on whether you get the disc drive or without the disc drive. The glossy top cover, matte bottom cover. So it's going to have a matte bottom cover and glossy top in the wings, whatever those things are at the top with the weird separation. Um, it's going to have a one terabyte SSD. So finally, you're going to have a little bit more storage for games, which is fantastic because... Let's be honest, I filled up my PS5's, my PS5's SSD super fast. I didn't upgrade it, didn't bother upgrading it because I don't play my PS5 that often, but the 512 gigabyte just isn't going to cut it for some of these newer games. And as we discussed, the disk drive is now separate. You can either buy the digital edition on its own and then upgrade to the disk drive later on, or you can buy it with the disk drive and then remove the disk drive if you want to. It's completely up to you, which is kind of cool. I wish they'd done that originally, right? So it's going to be releasing in November in the US, right before Christmas and we're going to get a global rollout in the following months so for you those of you guys that maybe follow me during the ps5 restock days should we start another restock live stream i wonder let me know in the comment and this is obviously going to be replacing the current ps5 on store shelves so goodbye original ps5 i'll miss you not really but yeah it's going to replace the old ps5 and as for prices in the us it's the ps5 with the ultra hd blu-ray disk drive is going to be 499.99 so the same price as the launch edition basically and the digital edition is going to be 50 dollars less um, so which one are you going to get? Let me know in the comments. I'd probably go for the digital one at this point, to be fair. I've got a couple of physical PS5 games I need to sell, but frankly, I'm just not into physical games anymore. It's just too much work. I do, however, kind of like this new stand. It's got a very metallic metal sheen to it. I wonder if it's metal or if it's like just plastic with a metal metallic gloss around it. 
And I wonder if you're going to be able to use this horizontally and vertically with the stand. That'll be interesting to know. We're also going to get more customized color options for this new PS5 in early 2024. And um, obviously, I'm excited for that. So the, co the color options we're going to get in 2024, we're going to have an all matte black colorway. Awesome. We're also going to get the Deep Earth collection colors in volcanic red, cobalt blue, and sterling silver. Sterling silver, that's kind of nice, isn't it? A shiny metallic glossy sterling silver ps5 <laughs> they're tempting me back to consoles and obviously this is gonna be a fantastic gift idea if you're thinking about getting a friend or a family member a ps5 for christmas obviously we've got marvel spider-man 2 coming out alan wake 2 and of course the big hitter for the year call of duty modern warfare 3 which i'm super hyped about because it's bringing back all the 2009 modern warfare 2 maps i played the beta earlier this week and it was absolutely amazing and i'm going to be playing call of duty multiplayer a lot more after this game gets released i believe in like november 10th so i think as far as community sentiments concerned with the new ps5 i think people are going to be pretty happy having the option to have a disk drive or not a disk drive now um or be able to slap the disk drive on at a later date that's kind of pretty cool i think it's a pretty pro consumer decision by sony um and of course i think people will be happy that we're gonna finally get a storage upgrade to like one terabyte standard on both units i think going forward we're going to want to see a lot of videos on youtube talking about the size comparison between the old one and the new one hopefully we get that on youtube very soon and obviously a lot of people are going to be annoyed at the fact that they bought custom plates for their original ps5 and they're not going to be able, they're not going to be able to use them on the new one and let me know what you think about the choice of having glossy plastic on the top i know glossy plastic's more prone to fingerprints and smudges and scratches but on on white and obviously on the sides it's not going to be a big issue but on the front you know that was one of the biggest complaints with people to be where people were having to buy a d-brand skin for the front of their ps5 but yeah let me know guys in the comments what you think about the new ps5 revision i'm kind of excited i'm probably not going to pick it up but are you let me know in the comments down below and like i said go check the links down below in the video description and top pin comment you might find something you like some great recommendations for ps5 owners anyways guys i'm blazed okay if you love gaming news love tech and everything in between then please smash the subscribe click the bell icon this is a little news update i'm a little bit sick so i'm trying to put this video together just to get something out there but let me know in the comments what you guys think anyways guys should we start the ps5 restock live stream again let me know down below i'll see you in the next one peace out i'm blazed okay bye let's go